So this afternoon we've come out to take a look at this semi-detached Edwardian house uh, which has a garage at the back, it's close to shops and reasonably close to the town centre as well. As you can see we've just stepped into the property, into the hallway. So this house has a separate hallway which makes it a little bit wider than some of the other houses in this row. So as you can see I've now come in from the hallway and the first room we're going to have a look at is the sitting room. Uh, really lovely feature fireplace there, fully functioning open fire and the uh, wood flooring as well which continues through to the dining room as well. And I'll just take a shot of this room from the other side. So there we go then, this is the room from the other side and you'll see that lovely fireplace. And then we have an archway through to the dining room which is the room we'll go to next. But as you can see, it's quite open plan, so for an entertaining space, it's absolutely perfect. So here we go then, this is that uh, separate dining room, as we said, it's open plan, so a good usable space. Window overlooking uh, the back garden, and then that door is to the kitchen, and then a door just to the side there is a very useful understair storage cupboard. So just to show you the whole room as one total space, that's the understairs storage cupboard on the right. Then you have a door into the hallway and then the archway through to the sitting room. You can see we just popped into the kitchen. The kitchen overlooks the gardens at the rear and you've got plumbing for a dishwasher there and washing machine, also a built-in oven hob and hood. So as you can see, I've just popped upstairs and the landing's quite a nice size actually. That cupboard there houses the gas-fired boiler for the central heating. Uh, straight ahead you have bedroom one and off to the left here you have bedroom two. So then also off the landing you have this rather spacious bathroom. What's really nice about this bathroom is the fact that you don't have to walk through either bedroom to get to it which is often the case with uh, Edwardian and Victorian properties so it's uh, accessed totally separately off the landing and as you can see lots of space there. So this is bedroom one it's at the front of the property and you've got two sets of double wardrobes at either side of the chimney breast and then uh, the windows to the front aspect as we've said and I'll just show you the room from the other side as well. There we go then, this is the other side of the room. You can see uh, a better idea on scale now and that door therefore leads out onto the landing area. And again, as we've said, you've got built-in wardrobes on this end wall. And then this finally is bedroom two, which is at the rear of the house and has views overlooking the garden. There we go, this is the same room just from the other side. So as you can see, we've just stepped outside uh, the back door. And the reason why I'm showing you the back door is because the front door is about to be changed uh, to that style. And then as we walk down the garden, you can see it's really nicely enclosed. Now the sun's just starting to try to come out. It's been a bit blustery today. It's a lovely area for seating and sheltered from the sun because it is a south facing garden. So when the sun is out fully, uh, it's quite, uh, quite secluded and hot at the back. And so that just gives you an idea of the garden from this side and I'll just take a shot from the other side as well. So you can see we're at the other end of the garden now and you've got the useful garage and the gate there which goes on to Horsecroft Road for access. And if I just spin round uh, you'll see now that the sun has come out, a bit more sunshine and you can see how sheltered the gardens are. Not overlooked at all actually so Really lucky to have such a lovely space. Just thought I'd briefly show you where the garage is and that green gate goes into the gardens of course. You've got a bin store to the side and a little bit of parking in front of the garage as well. And if I just spin round, uh, the bottom of the road is where the Tesco's Express is. So really handy uh, for the local shops and there's a little primary school down the bottom there as well. So that's in the tour of this lovely house in Horringer Road. As you've seen, it's got uh, some lovely features inside and lovely secluded gardens at the back uh, with the useful garage as well. And it's close to the shops and also close to the town. If you'd like to come and take a look for yourself, do that by just giving us a call on 01284 755 26.